He's a Grammy Award nominated singer who is back in Detroit for a night filled with soul at the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater tomorrow night. But before he takes the stage, he's coming on Live in the D to sit down with us. Raheem joins us live in the studio this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And let's start by jumping right in. First of all, I got to say, I'm really excited you were here. I saw it on the, the email and I'm like, oh, it's a Zoom. And then I got here and you were here. So I'm really excited. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's just jump into your, your album that you just released in June. It's called Summer of Love. Yeah, the Can Summer you tell of us Love. about it? It's, uh, it's, it's one of many projects that I have out available in the DSPs. You know, once you get past your third album, everything you kind of put out. You said is, your what? Well, well, your third album. Yeah, no, once you get past your third ah, album. Okay, okay, okay. I'm way past the third album. <laughs> right, right, uh, right. You know, everything that you create is to support what, what you've already really ex created, but also find find new ways to tell the story of love and R&B, soul music, all of these things. It's very euphoric, very complimentary for the summer. You know, there's still a few days left in the summer, and I'm actually in the middle of, of remixing the Summer of Love project for Fall in Love, which will be a... Oh. Fall in Love. Fall, fall in well, love, if you're in yeah. Michigan, summer might be around. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, fall yeah, yeah, so... I don't know, Fall's coming up later on this week? <laughs> so I'm definitely performing some, some, of the, some of the records, some of the new records from the Summer of Love, as well as, you know, my vast catalog. We're, we're on a 20-year countdown to the Love Experience album, which was my first project wow. that came out in 2005. So to be able to still come here and do sold-out shows, uh, the show isn't sold out, but I, I have a premonition that it's going to be. Hey, because we're here this morning. Let's to existence. Yes, Come on. We're here. We're here. And this is a great, you know, Detroit is one of the great walk-up cities. Yeah. I, yeah. You know, I love Absolutely. that about, about the city, you know. And people here love their music, too. Yeah. When well, we're talking about you, your career, you just mentioned it, has gone for almost 20, or 20 years now, yeah. almost two decades. So I can imagine it becomes a challenge as time moves on when you're, when you're trying to find inspiration of what to write about. Where does that come from and what sparks you at any given time? I mean, humbly, it's not a challenge for me. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm always in the studio, I'm always working. Um, you know, it, I, I think of it as reps or, you know, just like you have, mm -hmm. you, you know, Michael Jordan or <laughs> whomever, you know, um, it, you, you want to be at the best of your game, the top of your game. You, you know, the culture is constantly changing, the sound of music is constantly changing um, sonically, and, 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 you know, and then being my own guinea pig or living vicariously through things that I see here that I want to talk about, you know, it makes it makes the process very, very easy. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm what you call, uh, I guess, a freestyle writer. Like, I don't s literally sit down and write things physically. It's, you know, it's been for some time, maybe 20 years now that I... Say it just, again, just 20 going, years, yeah, that's 20, huge. 20 years plus, you know, making records and just going in and, and letting it happen organically and, you know, in two, three, four, five, six, seven hours. Sometimes I come back to it now. I'm a, I'm a bit more of a perfectionist these days in what I'm creating. And um, I'm definitely in love with what I do still. So that's the thing. I think once you, as long as you never lose the passion and the mm -hmm. drive for mm -hmm. it, you know, it, 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 the, the creativity is, is limitless. Well, I love to hear you saying 20 years and you're still recreating yourself. Mm -hmm. So you played in Detroit earlier this year yeah. and now you're back at the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater. That sounds so good to say. Yeah. What do you love about playing there? Um, one, you know, just the outside environment, people pulling up on their boats. You know, again, Detroit is a great walk-up city. Um, the energy is always amazing. Um, you know, the sing-alongs mm -hmm. to, to, to the catalog, <laughs> you, you know. And, 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 and then Aretha Franklin, you know, one of my early trips to Detroit was being summoned to Aretha, by Aretha Franklin wow. for her birthday wow. to perform wow. her favorite song, which I later found out Woman was her favorite, was one of her favorite oh, that, tunes. And wow. she would, that just gave me goosebumps. That's a banger. It. Yeah, I, had to, I was here when, you know, when, when they had the going home celebrations and renamed the theater as well. So, um, you know, Detroit means a lot to me, and apparently I mean a lot to Detroit. You know? <laughs> I'm glad to, be back. glad to be back. Yeah. So j just sitting around and having a conversation with you, you have a very calm presence to be around. So when people come to a Raheem Devon concert, what should they expect oh, from that experience? I mean, it's definitely two different people. You know what I mean? It's a, it's, it's euphoric. It's exciting. It's improvisational. Mm. It's memory lane. You know, <laughs> for your first dance, your first kiss, whatever. You know, um, and I, and I encourage you if you haven't. You know, there's there's a, I, I, some like to argue say I have a cult following, but I, but I I encourage you if you haven't been out to a show or a great you know R and B soul show. Um, this is the last, I think, the last one of the summer. Last uh, one? Yeah, wow. Before, yeah, before yeah. we fall in love with fall? Yeah, before, we, yeah, before, before it's time okay. to fall in love. So it's a summer of love. Come ride the high, come feel the energy. Um, shout, out to, shout out to Bilal, who's performing. Um, please forgive me, there's another brother that's performing as well 
on on this show, and I cannot Please remember forgive his name him, right now. Please forgive him because he know he knows <laughs> who you're talking about, yeah, though. Yeah. So he knows. But it's a bit, it, it may, it's going to be an amazing uh, concert tomorrow night. Well, the concert is tomorrow. What will we be doing up until showtime? Oh uh, man, um, I'm going to. Me personally, I like to. It, uh, shout out to Fresh Roots. I'm finna go. Okay. I haven't been there yet. Move. Oh, you gotta get there. Okay, yeah. 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 So, right. I'm, so I'm gonna hit the Fresh Roots. Uh, definitely some other interviews and And where stuff. can people get tickets from? Because we need to sell yeah. this show out. So where do we get um, the tickets from? Ticketmaster.com. You know, take, take your chances, you know, walking up. Okay, take yeah, your chances. Yeah, take, take your chances walking up. You, are, you guys are a great walk-up city, for sure. Well, speaking of walking up, you have the best boots I've ever oh, seen. Oh, that's, oh, a true shoe, that's a true shoe cam right there. <laughs> thank you very much for joining us on thank, Live of the Day. Thank D. you for having me.